Uh, hi, I'm Yoav from SimilarWeb. Uh, I will share with you today a quick uh, intro to our keyword analysis tool and how we are using Fireball to get a sub-second performance on a tens of terabyte scale. So everything about SimilarWeb keyword analysis and keyword research tools uh, is basically give you some um, option to research a market using what actually people are looking for, uh, usually on Google or any other search engine. So let's start with a quick example of uh, our keyword generator, which actually gives you the ability uh, to take a simple keyword or phrase and um, get it broader uh, for an entire topic. So for example, let's use uh, running shoes as our keyword. And what I'm basically getting pretty quickly here um, is some phrase match uh, terms, as you see, running shoes um, and some brands. And this is the keyword analysis. And this is actually happens on Firebolt. So as you see, this page loads uh, pretty quickly. And we are talking about 100 different keywords that we are analyzing uh, in real time uh, from our uh, terabyte scale database. And I will share with you in a minute uh, what it actually contains. And as you can see, I have an overtime uh, overview of all the competitors and all the websites that are receiving traffic from those keyword group. Again, I'm reminding you, we are talking about running shoes. And here we see tons of keywords, actually 100 uh, running shoes, a, a typo, and more and more and more. Um, so actually, any website that we identify, we see uh, 2,500 websites that are receiving traffic from any of these terms is actually appearing here. And as you can see, I'm slicing and going over this data uh, really quickly. Um, most of the queries here are between sub-second to two seconds uh, runs. And now let's go uh, one step deeper. So this is my uh, Firebolt workspace. And this is uh, the, an example of, uh, uh, of the query. And as you can see, we are running uh, against multiple tables in order to give you uh, some metrics like the change here. Um, and let me run it again even now. And as you can see, this query actually um, runs on a 1.2 gigabyte scan uh, in 0 0.2 seconds performance. Um, and this is actually uh, something that we weren't able to do before, even in a, a more consolidated platforms like uh, um, key value store and manipulating all the data in our memory. Um, in order to achieve this performance, we actually had um, some life cycles. So at the beginning, we went with naive approach. We actually tried to uh, ingest all the data and just query it. And that's what a bit of a burden we got into tens of seconds performance. And the key for the success was actually here. So what I'm sharing with, with you now is the actual index of the table that's running in production. As you can see here, we have um, a table. Let's see its actual size. Um, just a moment. OK. So um, yeah, this is the keyword sorted. So that's actually 44 terabytes. And what we actually did, we have uh, no partitions. Uh, in this database, uh, in this table, actually, uh, which is actually a very common practice in big data uh, databases. And we have only an index that is combined from the date, the country, the keyword, and the device, um, which we found most effective. And then uh, the last point was uh, sorting the data. So our index is also containing the most popular filters, and also the data is sorted, which is very relevant for a uh, keyword as an example for alphabetic data set and that's how we actually got from uh, tens of seconds performance to this uh, sub-second query um, and i hope you can find it uh, useful for your use case too